Welcome back to our video series 5G is now. And don't forget, everything we talk about you can also find in our 5G book. In this episode, we will dive deeper into a well-known and established antenna technology, beamforming. Beamforming is not new, but its importance will fundamentally increase in 5G cellular communications. Mike Kottkamp, one of the authors of our 5G book, has left his office to show us what this looks like in the field. Yes, Brigitte, I'm outside here in front of one of our buildings at Munich headquarters. And I'm going to discuss beamforming and I will show you some 5G in our measurements. So beamforming is really not a new technology used in existing cellular networks. You can use it in LTE, for instance. However, in 5G NR, it's much more inherently supported in the system. And that is very important because we want to achieve coverage and communication at high frequencies such as 28 and 39 gigahertz, the so-called FR2 frequency band. And their attenuation, of course, is high. And also we want to support massive MIMO, which is the combination of beamforming and spatial multiplex multiplexing, which is more a technology used in FR1 frequency band up to 7 gigahertz. So actually 5G NR can support beamforming not only for dedicated channels, but also for common channels such as broadcast and synchronization signals that are used for the end user device to sync to the system. So that is different to existing cellular networks. 5G NR supports up to 64 beams at FR2 and up to 8 beams in FR1. You can see all the details in our 5G NR books. And now I'm going to show you some live measurements for this. I've got with me my TSME 6 scanner from Roland Schwarz, taking with this antenna the signals via the air. And with the battery pack, I'm able to carry around this solution for drive testing and walk testing. And then you see the laptop with the Aroma software on it that shows you the results. So you can see a number of bars. Each of these bars represents the absolute power and the signal to noise ratio for a single beam of a certain cell. So you can see it is really applied in 5G NR networks today. This is only the starting point for measurements in the field. It will be enhanced by measurements with commercial phones using our Qualipox solution that would allow you to assess KPIs like throughput, like latency, and the communication with the network. A subject for discussion in one of our future videos in this series. Thank you, Mike. If you would like to learn more about beamforming and other 5G topics, you can read our 5G book online. See you then. And don't forget, 5G is now.